Eye on tech. Palliatives in Nigeria to cushion the impact of fuel subsidy removal have been announced by some states like Edo in the south-south, Ogun State in the southwest. Uh, at the federal level, the 8,000 naira amount for distribution to the poorest households is under review. Now, the credibility of the social register is the subject of debate. The question that we want to answer for our eye on tech is if technology, particularly blockchain technology, can solve the issues of palliative distribution through transparency and proper record keeping. This is going to be fun. We have with us Adedeji Owonibi, who is the founder, chief operating officer for Convexity, and also Charles Okafomba, co-founder, chief technology officer for Convexity. Gentlemen, you are welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right, um, Adeji, let's start with you. Let's talk about the importance of transparency to initiatives like this, which everybody is talking about, the palliatives, and how, what technology brings to it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank <laughs> yeah. you very much. So if you look at it, you know, transparency is very key. Uh, the whole Hulabalu in the whole country is about how transparent is the distribution? Who get what? Can you show me one single person that have gotten? You know, that's, that's, the, that's the whole thing that has been going on on the street. And um, again, that underscores the reason that a lot of things have to be very open and the government have to do this distribution if they have to do it with this review that is happening to use a very credible um, technology called the blockchain to see if it's possible to support that. You know, um, it's all over. So the citizens are apprehensive that there's going to be transparency. And of course, there's also a newspaper that is, that is of interest, even though it's a sad one. And they said, uh, a con a Nigeria is a country so corrupt that it is better you burn your aid money than give it to us. And the, that should not be the narrative. The Daily Mail, yeah. This is the time, actually, yeah. to be transparent yeah. in this distribution, yeah. Well said. Uh, Charles, how, how, what's the mechanics of this thing? How, how does it work? How does, how does blockchain entail that you can get palliatives distributed to people in an open and transparent manner and then how do you get past the social registry issue and so on and so forth? All right, thank you. So um, one thing we've um, looked at is um, you need to find a way to make that technology work for what you want to do. Okay. Um, it's not just blockchain that's um, coming to play here, right? We have other technologies too that should be added or can be used alongside that. We have AI to verify the liveness of um, who you are onboarding to such a program. And then you have uh, like a geomapping, more of like a location system, right? Geofencing and all that, where you ensure that these people or where this palliative is actually being distributed is where it is meant to go, okay? And then you can ha use such a um, system to, to uh, mark the area that this, uh, this palliative shouldn't go beyond this area. That's if the geofencing, right? Yes, that's the geofencing. Okay. Uh, so this palliative shouldn't go beyond this area. Maybe you want to reactivate the economic activity within um, a troubled zone and you want funds or money that is being given to be spent around that area and all that. So you can use technology to do all that. Then adding the social register to it. So um, I know there are debates around uh, how authentic it is and all that. Uh, from some of the guests that have come here, they've actually explained and we've seen that a lot of work was put into that. Now, that, is, uh, that aspect can actually cover the uh, verification or the identity system that can be used. Um, we, 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 we can also build a platform or there, there can be a way to integrate uh, the technology side, which is the blockchain side, for the aid distribution to such register. Right, and also they they, they should well, be. You built your, own, your pl you have a platform that does that, right? So yes. you're saying that your own platform can be integrated with the register that the government already has. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, now, we, when that is done, right, you now have the the blockchain token. We, we call it, um, for some people, they will say cryptocurrency, but token can actually be used for a lot of things, right? It can be used to represent uh, the items being distributed. It could be cash, it could be it, uh, it could be uh, rice, rice oh, yeah. it could be beans, it could be anything, yeah. right? So when it is moving from one person to another, you are seeing it. So if the government wants uh, such transparency, they can actually say, okay, uh, this is where we distributed this item. You can see the movement on the public ledger. You can see how it's moved and all those stuff. And then you know that the identity is uh, one person is one person. You have uh, a system to check the proof of lively of a uh, person who that this person is real and all those. Uh, how do you do that? Explain that. How do you get? How do you prove that? So if I I come to you, you're about to give me this phone. How do you make sure that it is Rotus that is collecting this phone? And how, how do you how do you explain that? All right. So uh, I first of all need to know that you are real. Okay. Right. You are human. 
Okay, so and that uh, involves checking, um, uh, building a system that checks uh, this person is life, right? Okay. Is a human being. Yeah. Maybe you blink your eyes or you do some facial expression, so the system captures that. Then your biometrics. Okay, so uh, since we already have um, uh, a national identity system that can be integrated to it, so you know this person that is being onboarded for this and the identity they are one. So you tie that together. Yeah. Okay, so if uh, a pilot, if, or if this phone now needs to come to you. You, you come to me if I'm a vendor, yeah. right? You come to me with a voucher. That voucher is representing you. It's tied to your yes. identity. Now you come to me with that voucher, and then I, I, it can be maybe there's a QR code attached to the voucher. You, I scan it as a vendor, and then I give you this item. Now after doing that, the, the scanned uh, a voucher now can now be converted to uh, uh, cash or to their payment, and it will be sent to the bank account of the uh, vendor itself. So until... Myself, until uh, I as a vendor serves you, yes, right. I've been contracted to serve you. Then that is when I get paid from the government. So it takes away that reward of um, uh, you give a vendor such a contract, and then and then they, you hope that they give the, they give it out to the exactly. People. And ah. It doesn't happen. Uh, thanks, Charles. Uh, Adeji, what's the what has been the have you engaged? What's it like? Have you guys engaged government? What has been the feedback been, been like? So, so government, this is the time I think we're we're, we're trying to see you can get to um, the governors forum, and that's a, that's a, that's a, an, an area we believe we can discuss this further. But you know, after that, you like you say, have this technology been used somewhere else, right? And uh, like uh, um, UNICEF is supporting that technology, and uh, we currently deployed that technology in a floating community in Lagos called Makoko where we try to bring out this myth around sending money to Africa, you better just burn it and send it here. And, and that is being exemplified in Makoko, for example, where uh, a Japanese is, is, is contributing to that community. And he's seen it from Japan. And that's why we want everyone to be able to see. Okay, wait, wait. So, so he's sending money from Japan to individuals in Makoko using your platform, and he's able to see who you're giving the money to. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so uh, that this newspaper you quoted, uh, yeah, quoted, Daily Mail, yeah, Daily Mail, that said funny people, over yeah, that there. said yeah. hey, instead of giving Nigeria your money, burn it. Yeah, and yeah. so that's the same thing that discouraged this young philanthropist. Uh, he was sending money to Makoko, building school in those places, and when he heard about this technology, he actually flew to Nigeria. He was with, with us, and. Uh, we, we showed how this works, and currently he's supporting the school. We're paying teacher, we're feeding some people in that place. Through the platform. Through the platform. You see it right off in Japan. And that is so transparently uh, very open for everyone to see. And I think with this trust deficit between government and citizen, this is where to bring in just that um, ecosystem for the trust deficit to be eroded mm. uh, so that we... We can now see that everything the government is doing, they actually meant it. And if they say they are sending it to X community, and the people in the community and other people can testify that this is actually uh, done. So know, this, is, this, is not, this is not, all this talk is not complex. It the, is not. Pri you, the folks, the tech people like yourselves, you have the platform, you can integrate it with the social register, you can see where the money is going, and everybody's happy. Everyone. So you will not leave this studio without talking <laughs> about the aviation sector, because <laughs> I'm also... Transparency. Yeah. Transparency. Airplay, what is it called? Uh, Aeroplay. 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 To explain Aeroplay. Okay, so uh, Airbnb basically works in, uh, I'm sure most of us that have traveled, especially using flights, yeah. you've been uh, delayed or your flight has been cancelled. Yeah. Getting your money back is either, I think it's easier for a camera to pass through the airline. <laughs> yeah, <I mean, laughs> to, to, to get your money back. To get your money back. Airline, exactly. Your okay, so, 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 so uh, we built a, a system whereby if your, uh, your flight is cancelled, Right, you get your money instantly. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, how does that work? How does that work? So, uh, <laughs> so, 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 so it's more of like a, a, a payment system, okay. right? That uh, you you book, you pay, and then the money gets transferred to the, the the airline. But the airline has to be on the platform as well. Yes. So there, there's integration, right, okay. with the airline. So your tickets and all those stuff, they so, see it, so. right? So they know that okay, you have paid and you have booked and all those stuff. So we 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 initially we did it in such a way that it's passenger centric yes right the passenger gets the fund and all those stuff. but we realize that most of these airlines they they have problem with cash flow yeah. so we built another model that uh, 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 ensures that the airline are satisfied their cash flow is not disrupted mm. and then the, the passengers the too they get uh, their their tickets uh, they, they get a refund whenever a flight is cancelled <laughs> and all that but yeah okay it will interest you to know that <laughs> <laughs> the feedback what's the, what the feedback from here okay. so, i'm not mentioning names so, <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, <laughs> so the, the feedback is uh, has been uh, for us is surprising, yeah. Uh, because we see a lot of media talk about 
oh, we are very good customer centric yeah. and, all, and all that. But this is something that we give the customer because we've traveled, right? Yes, we all have. Seen it. Yeah. And when you when you when you're traveling, the moment the, the flight is either canceled or delayed. The customer service people disappear from the company. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so you see a lot of kiosks. And we feel this is not a rocket science. Right. For example, this is what technology can bridge. And, and so we, we did the beautiful thing in such a way that everyone is seeing the money. Again, a transparent solution. Yeah. The airline knows they have this money, right? Everyone yeah. knows. So it, a small percentage goes to them because we know there are operational costs that will be in, in, in involving the whole team because you booked. Yeah. But if you don't fly, then you don't get the money. The money gets reversed to the wallet of that passenger. I, of course, you know, it's not going to go down well with the airlines. <laughs> and we saw that this, this whole decision, and I mean, the, the, the startup has been, we, we built it, yeah. and it has been acknowledged as one of the transformative fintech solutions right in Netherlands by Global Aviation. It was, it was recognized. Yeah. Of, of course, just a few months ago again, also in Namibia. So uh, we are having interest from the likes of Qatar Air, Kenya Air, but not Nigeria. Right. And so we have to start here because the builders are Nigeria, and we and charity they say we have to begin uh, at home. So we're working with NCAA. We've gone to NCAA and we told them if you say refund is automatic when somebody don't fly you within 24 hours, this should be, and we've given a technology that can aid that and let everybody be happy. That 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 look, you know, that it's it really isn't that hard. Uh, Charles, uh, finally, um, when people hear blockchain, they feel it's just ephemeral, this, this foreign thing. Yeah, this, yeah, the point here is that this can be applied even in rural areas ac across the board. Is that, is that, that's the message that we're trying to get over yes, here. Yes, yes, it can. Uh, so um, I, there's something we normally do. We try to de-emphasize the technology because the technology is just an, enab uh, an enabler, yeah. right? So uh, you can use the blockchain for anything you want to use, provided it can solve that. And um, blockchain in this instance is just serving as the backbone. You already you need to have some uh, uh, layering technology that can work with that. You need to have, let's say, uh, an NFC, right, technology near field communication, where you give the beneficiaries a card and they don't need a network to mm. work with that. So they go to the vendor, they tap, and then they get stuff. You need a, uh, you, you, so so there are there are other technologies that yes, goes that are, yeah. yeah that are attached to that to yeah. to make it work. So yes, blockchain is there, and it can and work. Yes, yeah, everything. and hopefully more engagement from governments. Uh, Absolutely, gentlemen, thank you so much. Very informative. You guys are you're doing the work. Uh, Dedeji, uh, uh, be founder, uh, chief operating officer, Convexity, and Charles Okafumba, uh, co-founder and chief technology officer, Convexity.